I've been really thinking about the womb, the spirit of the womb that we all carry and the responsibility we have to protect it within ourselves and between each other so that something awesome can be born and how easily we can be distracted with gossip and backbiting. What's negative in the world? Because we can easily relate there. When somebody starts complaining about a situation, oh boy, it's easy to add my complaints about it, right? It's harder to bring something bright and light change to it. Why is that? Because it's not our pattern. But the more we do it, the more we practice that, the better we get at it and the more it becomes our reality. <clears throat> Just recently, I had a reaction. And if I followed that reaction, it would have cut off a lot of response. It would have cut off mm -hmm. so much possibility of change and love to come into this world because I stopped it with me. Mm -hmm. I was going to, but I stopped. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> yes, I can sit here and complain about it and be righteous in my um, anger, judgments, shame, taking on what was trying to be projected, taking on what was trying to be set as the pattern. But I had the opportunity to stop it within me and it was really eye-opening. How many times have I done this in my world? How many times have I done this in my life? Con taking on the pattern of, the, of being that is so rife in our world and not allowed love to come through. So I took it upon myself to go beyond the situation and what was being attempted to be sold and I took responsibility. Sovereignty over the situation and invited others to join me there. And it was wonderful. Without going into details, it's like, it's like a huge weight came off of my heart of freedom, of realizing I have true freedom. We have true freedom in what we experience and what we invite our worlds to experience with us. It was just like, wow, I don't have to be in that way, in that pattern. And I've done a lot of work around this. I know we all have, but I'm just so excited to be sharing my new level of this, <laughs> you know? Invite you in that with me. I had to sit down and I was like, wow, nothing can take form if it's not a healthy space a healthy environment for it to take form. Do you hear that call? You want to be that call. It means we have to be it all the time and make it our new way of being, not just when we're here on Sunday together, but when in the middle of the night, when something, a hard day is happening and we're with friends and wanting to talk about heavy things in the world in a negative way and wallow in the sorrow. We need to be able to have the courage to bring love and light. And what are we going to do with this possibility? I always lean into what we're doing here. Edenvale, Sunrise Ranch, Gatehouse, Riverdale. These communities, what we're doing right here, right now, is being the change. Yes, it's, it's not physically changing the world right right in this instant. There's not a button that we can just push and refresh the world and to what we think is going to be right. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes a repatterning of ourselves individually and together. Yeah. And I'm thankful for the opportunity 
to remind my field and be reminded of those of you when I'm off that center path. So thank you for being on this journey, being love made manifest in the world. <laughs>